move on to another sort of area of this voice here and bring in uh, Tina McQueen here because sticking with the voice, one thing I think that a lot of people are sick of is all these woke corporations jumping on the voice bandwagon. And Adam Giles, CEO of Gina Reinhardt's agricultural empire, well, he's had some things to say about this where he's pretty sick of it as well. Speaking out in recent interviews, he has slammed corporations like Qantas and Woolworths for their virtue signaling approach, saying they should stay out of it. I think Tina McQueen, that he's right. I think most people are really sick of companies, particularly companies that, uh, you know, have shareholders to be responsible to as well in terms of that sort of duty, weighing into something that is so contentious and so divisive and could annoy half or more of their customers. Tina McQueen, what do you reckon? Oh, look, it annoys a lot of people, James, and there's better ways of spending shareholders' money than doing this. But if you must do it, if you must have a say, like with Qantas, you've got three yes planes, then throw in three no planes as well. That would be the solution. But best, the better thing to do would not be not be involved at all. People don't want to be lectured to. They want to make up their mind, and they're drowning in the voice uh, at the moment, and they've had enough, James. They don't want to hear it from every corporate place they go to or corporate business they enter. And Sam, I want to ask you about this, too, because I think an awful lot of companies, too, you know, they signed up behind the Yes campaign because it was early on in the Albanese government. This is a country with a lot of regulations, and I have a feeling that a lot of them were just trying to stay on the right side of a new government. Do you think that maybe some of these corporates are starting to regret that stance as the polls have started to move away from this one? Look, I don't know. I mean, there's no doubt that they signed up when polls were, you know, 70, 80, 90 percent behind the vibe of the thing. No one yeah. really cottoned on to anything it about it, right? And, and who knows what they think now? Um, I got to say, it's a bit rich, isn't it? The the the, the previous one with uh, uh, what's his name, uh, Adam Giles, saying uh, these corporate CEOs, as a corporate CEO, these corporate CEOs should stay out of the voice. Except I'm now going to have my say as a corporate well, CEO. Hang on, Sam. Oh, hang on. Now, hang no, on no, a second. No, no. Tina, hang Tina, on, hop in on this here because if yeah, I'm understanding that... what Adam was saying, he was saying don't get involved either way. Adam Am I was right? Saying, Adam was saying he has no position. He's simply running, running, running the agricultural side of the business. He wasn't siding with anyone at all. He was saying I take no position, and he believes other CEOs of major corporations should also not have a position on this and let their customers and clients decide what they do without being badgered to death and so, so, sorry why is it okay for him to jump in and say that it's okay or not okay for any other organizations shouldn't he just speak for his own organization shouldn't he just he speak for himself he wasn't speaking on his on the organization behalf he was speaking on behalf of himself where him in his role by, is by CEO, saying that people shouldn't come out and vote yes on this thing they shouldn't but come he, out and say yes on this that's, say that's that, what he was Sam, saying Sam, Sam, let's, I think, I, Sam Kina, let's let's bring to in be, caroline to be fair, here he was saying that companies and executives should stay in their lane and not involve shareholder money when it comes to investing in these huge acts of political grandstanding like Qantas has done. He's not taking a position either way. And I think oh, come on, one, he's not issue, taking a position. one issue he raises. Come on. So you're saying by saying don't We're all get political involved politically. So hang on. So, yeah. so, so you're, you're saying, saying that you're saying neutral saying no. is no. You're saying I, I, I'm saying that we're all political professionals on this panel and Adam Giles coming out today and saying, oh, everyone just has to stay in their lane and no one should have any views on this thing either way if you're in corporate Australia. Come on. Okay, it's but Caroline, but Caroline, I, I Caroline he, Marcus, if when on. you're out, you know, um, doing shopping for the family or thinking about a holiday for the family or whatever, and you're copying these sorts of messages, when you, when you go, as a consumer, I mean, it just seems, I feel like almost it's sort of like back in COVID times when, mm. you know, they'd be constantly coming over and telling us to wash our hands and stay apart. Mm. And now this is just the new thing to be virtuous. Well, it's, get, it's, get, it's like getting junk mail everywhere you go. I just throw it straight in the bin. And that's what I feel like doing with some of these companies. I don't need to be lectured to and told that I'd be on the wrong side of history if I don't go along with whatever Qantas wants to, to us to vote. But I do think that Adam Giles raises something that should concern CEOs everywhere, virtue signalling CEOs everywhere, that there might be an avenue for shareholders to take class action down the road if they feel that their money, their investment is being misspent and on political grounds. And Sam, you said, you know, talking about being a political professional here, you know, surely there's a danger that for companies to be 
seeing to be, seem to be getting involved in this sort of issue too much, surely there's a backlash. Oh, of course there, there is. Yeah. Of course there is. I've said this all the way through. When when Qantas was out there saying, you know, vote yes, I was saying I don't think that's the, uh, the best image. I think it should be more average, you know, average Joes in the community talking about why they're voting yes, less, you know, people in suit and ties in front of a billion-dollar plane saying why they're voting yes. Indeed.